Bonjour à toutes et à tous, bienvenue dans ma chaîne YouTube pour Jenkins Languages. Aujourd'hui, je vais vous enseigner un peu de français en ce qui concerne les faux amis. Donc, je vais parler en anglais pour mieux expliquer uh, le mot brillant. So, one of the things uh, that I found in a translation I sent my students last week was translating the word brilliant uh, from English into French. And a lot of them went straight for the French word brillant. B-R-I-L-L-A-N-T. B-E-I-L-L-A-N-T. Remember that I double L in French, that E sound. Uh, this is the last day of June, juin. We're about to enter into the months of July, juillet. I double L in there, same idea, that, that longer E sound. Now the problem we have when we translate brilliant from English into brillant in French is it's not quite the same meaning. Brillant in French has to refer to weather and specifically referring to the sun. So brillant comes from the French verb briller, briller, uh, the verb to shine. Aujourd'hui, le soleil brille. Today the sun shines. Aujourd'hui, le soleil est brillant. Today the sun is shining. Therefore, if you're translating it, you can't use that word brillant because it's deliberately referring to the weather and not just to a general opinion. If you want to say that something was brilliant in French, uh, you would have to use another adjective. C'était magnifique, c'était formidable, c'était merveilleux. Thanks very much to everyone. If you like what you've just heard, uh, why not like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and also why don't you leave a comment, uh, maybe asking me for the next thing you'd like me to do a video on. Merci beaucoup à toutes et à tous. À la prochaine.